so human insulation shark. Maybe a couple minutes later, but not significantly later than that. I am going to ask you to come together for a start photo. Just a few minutes. Don't hook up to your sled yet. That's Robert. And so, yeah. Time is nearly here. Cold. So, imagine what it's going to be like. But, um, this is it. Pulling up hills, you get a sweat on. So so here we are. It's morning two. Um, left. This is called Grave Lake. So we're heading for Grave Iron. 42 miles today. Um, happy enough so far. Tough going. I've, I kept going last yesterday from race start at 10.30 to just after 6 a.m. I decided to push on through the night to get to Stalgrave Lake. Um, so I've had about nearly two hours sleep there and I repacked the bag. And we're on again, <coughs> excuse me, so I reckon this today will be 14 or 15 hours. So here we go guys, day three. Um, we are, where are we? Let me day. Um, just come with us another smaller lake. Um, so that's my best friend. Um, yeah, about midday, day three, I'm about 50 hours in. Um, I'm approaching, I'm about an hour or two off of halfway between Brayburn and Ken Lake. This is a, about a 60k stage today, so um, I've been on the go since about um, 6 a.m. Um, and I'll see it's going to be uh, about a 16 hour um, session today. Uh, so far, I mean at the moment the weather's really good. Um, pretty cold earlier on going over the first few lakes and the guys in the skidoos have us that there's some crap weather <coughs> coming in. It's going to get really cold tonight, so like I say, I'm trying to get to Ken Lake and Bibby near the checkpoints. Um, Ken Lake is more or less halfway through the whole race, so it's a big, big plus. Also, I've opened a few of my letters today and notes. Um, blown away by your one, Tom, and um, really 10 things. You like about me? Why is the first one bald? Um, so I've got my hot chocolate, a bit like breeding here, walking around the Yukon with my drink. Uh, 
just keeps going in hot chocolates, shortbreads, gels. Um, when I get to the halfway point, I'm going to stop and have a chicken korma or something like that, just to keep the spirits up. Bye for now. Uh, here we this is called Coughlin Lake. Um, it's a big lake, as you can see. I've been on an hour, say, for about, almost about three hours. Uh, um, it's hard going, you can't really grip at all. And uh, it's, um, it's hard to, uh, like I say, it's hard to grip. Um, it's very cold out here. Obviously, it is always colder on the lakes. And it, I find my eyes are starting to close up a bit, so but hopefully we'll be off it soon. Still on day three, I'm afraid. Um, it's another one of these. It's only a little lake, thankfully. The lakes are freezing cold. Um, massive difference in the temperature. Um, just met this guy on the trail. I've been kind of hallucinating a bit. Anyway, um, just with so much uh, walking and shapes and trees and snow and stuff. And I just thought this was another just thing I was imagining. But no, he's real. This is the first thing I've seen in about um, bar one person in about 24, 26 hours. So I've given him my hold. Um, that's that way. Uh, still on this river. Uh, now about quarter past ten in the morning, so I'm going on any twelve hours, although um, I really battled the tiredness at about when it's six o'clock. I just couldn't couldn't keep my eyes open and I, I fell over a few times and so it was it wasn't ideal being on a river. I bivied up busy down the river um, got my busy bag and sleeping bag and just lay on top of my pulp <laughs> and it wasn't ideal it was really cold it was as I say well below minus 40 so I had no option I couldn't go off the, the trail it's too dangerous on the river you don't know where you're gonna you might go through the ice so I don't think there's too much my fingers are a bit sore after it, but there's nothing I could do. Um, so hopefully another... Uh, maybe another five hours, I'd say, before I get to my next checkpoint. There's my new bed. Um, yeah, so I got about an hour and 15 minutes, so it's just absolutely... I just had it. Never felt like that in my life before, so it's definitely taking its toll. At last, something to talk to. Last morning of the great adventure. And we are on Chicken Corner.
just enough a track here. Not so many beers. I hear some funny noises, but uh, maybe it's my stomach. I'm not sure. Um, I'm looking forward to this food. It's about 6 a.m. I've been on the go since about um, about half eleven. station there and as I was leaving Dale, the guy that owns Dale Bradley came out and officially told me that at that stage it was minus 43 and he said we could get down to about 47 or 48 below so it's been a cold night but um, almost kind of getting used to it now at this stage and um, not as difficult as some of the other ones and so it's the fact it's the last day as well uh, so it's good to get a bit of fire going and uh, think about getting home and I'm really, 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 really happy. It's gone on my last and um, hopefully the last four or five hours now to sleep. Um, the type of terrain I've been on today. Not too bad, it's quite um, climby though. The locals call it undulating, which makes to normal people like us quite steep. It's kind of like a... It's actually the drive to Dale and uh, Sue's house where we busied last night in the, the barn. 20, no, it's a 30 mile, sorry, long drive. So it takes you from the road, the Pelly, out to the airport. So, 30 mile drive. Um, yeah, so it's been throwing the night. It was really, really clear and the uh, northern lights were incredible. I got some photos, but I don't know how good it's come out. Um, amazing light show. Then about five, the cloud is over, and it's been snowing now for the last few hours. So that's it, last uh, few hours, and we'll have finished. <laughs> Only about two or three miles now from the finishing line. Back onto the, the river we went down, I went down. Oh, and